My favorite nostalgia set, fourth edition. Remember back when these were three dollars? A long time ago. 1994. Wizards of the Coast. Illustration by Kaja Foglio for the spirit link there. Let's see, is there any flavor down here? Here's the first in the Deckmaster series, more than 300. You'll never play the same game twice. Not going to read all that. You can pause the video if you want to read all that text. I love the nostalgia. Love savoring the pack openings. We're looking for a land tax, a um, Sylvan Library, um, a Mana Vault. Those are the high dollar cards, and I don't know where the rare is. I see a June and Ifri to start things off. Is that a rare or an uncommon? That might be the rare. I don't know. A Stream of Life. Mark Poole artwork there. I love the smell of 1994 cardboard. A Pestilence. At the end of any turn, if there are no creatures in play, bury Pestilence. One black mana ability. Pestilence deals one damage to all creatures and players. Jesper Mirfors. That guy doesn't look so good. Looks like one of the zombies on World War Z. Hope everybody's staying healthy out there. Hope both of my viewers are staying healthy and not getting the coronavirus. Be sure to wash your hands. Uh, circle Protection Blue. Damien Willich or Willick. Let's see, is that a girl or a guy? Is that a guy wearing high heeled boots? Or is that a woman? I do not know. Do not know. Fireball. Blends in perfectly with the background there. My red background today. Fireball deals X damage divided evenly. Rounded down among any number of target creatures and or players. Pay an additional one colorless for each target beyond the first. Mark Teeden illustration there. Hope both my viewers are doing well. A Grizzly Bears. 2-2 two, two for one colorless and one green. Looks like he caught himself a fish there. Don't try to outrun one of Dominion's Grizzlies. It'll catch you, knock you down, and eat you. Of course, you could run up a tree. In that case, you'll get a nice view before it knocks the tree down and eats you. Is June and Efreet a rare? Apprentice Wizard, 3 mana. Uh, 1 blue tap, add 3 colorless to your mana pool. Play this ability as an interrupt. Ah, remember when interrupts and instants were different things? I love Dan Fraser's backgrounds. The paint swirls. A vampire Bats, 1 for a zero, 1. Flying ability, one black, plus one, plus zero until end of turn. You cannot spend more than two black in this way each turn. So it can only become a two-one. For something is amiss or out of place when mice with wings can wear a human face. Theodore Rothke, the bat. Anson Maddox illustration there. Nice little illustration, very ha Halloween vibe. Of course, it's not Halloween. We're going into summer. Fortified area, three mana. Enchantment, all walls you control. Gain banding and get plus one, plus zero. Randy Asplund Faith illustration. Love that medieval fantasy artwork. Eternal Warrior. 
Attacking does not cause target creature to tap. Warriors of the Tsunami Nitu Nito School spend years in training to master the way of effortless effort. And some Maddox illustration there. Creature Bond. She's got that weird look in her eye. Creature Bond. Enchant Creature. If target creature is put into the graveyard, Creature Bond deals damage equal to the creature's toughness to that creature's controller. I was thinking I was thinking there of all the ways you could play. It's kind of like Spirit Link. You could also play it on one of your own creatures, then sacrifice one of your own creatures. Uh, if creature bond deals damage equal to that creature's tough to turn. No, it does it to the creature's controller. So you would have to put it on one of theirs or, or use some sort of uh I don't know if they had a control magic or Battering Ram, two colorless for a 1-1 one, one banding. Banding when attacking. At the end of combat, destroy all walls, blocking Battering Ram. By the time Mishra was defeated, no mage was foolish enough to rely heavily on walls. Jeff A. Minge's illustration. Reminds me of Braveheart, the part where they're trying to ram through the gates at, uh, can't remember the city. Uh... I think it was York when they sacked York and they were pouring the mud and lighting it on fire that might be our rare so you might have three uncommons and then your rare is a Triskillion Triskillion Douglas Schuler artwork looks like the Tin Man from the Wizard of Oz I love the dark outlines in Douglas Schuler's artwork like with Sarah Angel and the golden sword that she has Six mana for 1-1. One, one. When Triskillion comes into play, put three plus one plus one counters on it. Zero colorless mana ability. Remove one of these counters to have Triskillion deal one damage to target creature or player. Let's see, it's a 4-4 four, four for six. I think not. A brainchild of Thanos. The Triskillion later proved both versatile and useful. But in, uh, with modern magic and counters and the ability to add counters and remove counters, uh, that might be more of a valuable ability. I think that is the rare. Blight, two black mana, enchant land. If target land becomes tapped, destroy it at end of turn. Pete Venter's illustration there. Poor guy. His crops didn't come in. Better luck next year. Winter Blast. Let it snow, let it snow, or let it go, let it go, I don't even know. Uh, Winter Blast. Green. Tap X target creatures. Winter Blast deals two damage to each of these target creatures with flying. Green does not like flying. Blow winds and crack your cheeks. Rage blow. William Shakespeare, King Lear. There's another Kaja Foglio illustration. And our June and Ifri, Christopher Rush. Beautiful artwork there. 3-3 three, three flyer for three. But during your upkeep, pay two black mana or bury June and Ifri. Like that artwork though. Christopher Rush, 1993. That was fun. Some good nostalgia cards there. Hope you enjoyed that. I know I did. Stay healthy. Uh, stay away from the coronavirus as best you can. Be sure to wash your hands. Don't touch your eyes, your nose, your mouth. I know people are probably sick of hearing it, but I figure I only have two viewers and I don't want one of them to get sick. Um... It was a lot of fun. These packs, used to, I used to be able to buy these for $5 now. And a box, a box of 4th edition used to go for two fifty. dollars Now a, a box will go for like $700. And then um, 
a pack will go for $20, $25. And there's no way you're going to get your value back, but it was a lot of fun. Good to see some of these great vintage cards. Of course, here in a couple years, packs will probably be 50 bucks, and I, I think the 4th edition booster boxes will probably be over $1,000. I see some listed on eBay for $800. 850 but they don't they don't really move unless they're in the 700s or 600s anyway that was a lot of fun hope both of my viewers are doing well one last view of the cards street of life judy free talk to you again real soon